We're going on the boat with our Uber driver. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my name is Alfredo and this is Off The Strip, where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip or take you on one of my many adventures. Okay, so it's our last full day in Croatia and we're going to go into the Blue Caves. This is the pier or the dock that we are going to catch our... We rented a little private boat with a driver to kind of cruise us around. So it's gonna be fun. But first, a quick workout in the park by the docks. <laughs> we are below deck Dubrovnik. Here's our boat for the day. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. The blue caves of Dubrovnik are a hidden gem along the Croatian coastline known for its vibrant blue waters that glow from the sunlight reflecting off the sea. The blue caves is a must-see for anyone visiting Dubrovnik. We are trying to swim to the blue caves and doing it very unsuccessfully. Oh lord! The waters of the Blue Caves is typically 15 to 25 feet depending on the tides. Okay, so we're in the Blue Caves and I just kicked someone in the ass, sorry. The average temperature of the Blue Caves during the summer is about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. We're in the Blue Caves! Yeah. The blue colors caused by sunlight reflecting off the white limestone seabed and filtering through the underwater entrance of the cave, creating that glow. Okay, I'm gonna try to zoom out of the blue caves. <sighs> when visiting Dubrovnik, I highly recommend taking a tour of the blue caves for a chance to explore one of the most stunning natural wonders of the Adriatic Sea. It allows you to escape the crowds of the city for swimming, snorkeling, or kayaking and take in breathtaking views of Dubrovnik's coastline, hidden beaches, and connect with nature. Okay, so now we're swimming to the green cave. Every color of the fucking rainbow. Oh, don't say that. We're in the green cave. <laughs> The green caves get their color from the way the sun reflects off the green algae that covers the rocks and seabed. This creates that green glow in the water. After wearing ourselves out swimming, we're now on our way to a hidden beach for a little relaxation and cocktails. So now we're just at this beach. We had to... It's shallow water, so the boat couldn't pull us all the way up. There are no docks, so we just had to kind of walk to the beach from the boat. But as you can see, it's not very deep. So there we go. Okay, so now we're climbing up this cliff to a nice bar with great views up top from this beach. I don't recall the name of this beautiful botanical garden bar, but it was very relaxing with lots of plants and actual bumblebees around the flowers. And take a look at these drinks. And of course we had to enjoy the views on the hike down. Walking back to the boat because, you know, yay. This is Franju Tuman Bridge. It's a massive cable stayed bridge that stretches across the beautiful Dubrovnik Bay. This might be our last look going to Palgate because tomorrow when we leave Palgate, we're leaving Old Town forever. Hey, thanks for watching. Please tell me in the comments. Would you like to visit Dubrovnik or have you been to Dubrovnik? I can't even try to pronounce the name of this restaurant, but it's amazing. Located right at the Old Port in the heart of Old Town makes it a popular restaurant. It has beautiful views of the sea and the city walls, and it's a great spot for both locals and tourists. I got the fish too. It smells so good. It looks really good. Let's try it. With it being our last night in the city, we couldn't say goodbye without having another scoop of pepinos. 
our last night in Dubrovnik. We just had an awesome dinner. Can't leave Dubrovnik without having another one of these. It's so good. It's I think it's my fifth one and we've only been here three days or so. So it's good. So our last night we're just man, not gonna lie, can't believe I waited this long to come to Dubrovnik. Great place, best ice cream, beautiful city. I mean, I'm just walking in a quote unquote alley. And look what's behind me in this alley. There's a the church. Dubrovnik is also known as the Pearl of the Adriatic. It's a historic city in Croatia. The city is surrounded by a massive stone wall built in the 13th century and its well-preserved old town is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The town became famous as King's Landing in the Game of Thrones. Of course it wasn't until our last night did we even notice this plaque on the side of our Airbnb. The building was part of history when it was destroyed by the Serbian and Montenegrin armies on December 6, 1991. Much of the city was damaged and destroyed, then rebuilt. Since the Game of Thrones plays a huge part of the city's economy, you can find everything Game of Thrones souvenir in the city, from t-shirts, prop swords, and even dioramas. The next morning, it was time to say goodbye to this amazing city. But of course, we did some last minute shopping, had another scoop of Pepino's ice cream, and headed to the airport. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and leave a comment. So you've gone shopping to at Dubrovnik, or this is your last European stop before going home and you went shopping, where you get your refund is just when you walk in the door, it's right here. It's like a little window, there's no one there. You have to pick up the phone and they'll come out and see you. So if you're looking for your refund, that's where you find it. Thank you Dubrovnik, loved it. We will see you the next time. Next time we explore the ancient city of Antalya, Turkey. So be sure you subscribe so you don't miss it.